A very good morning to you. You are watching ITN News. Let's take a look at your headlines first. The Prime Minister says nine economic corridors will be created, centred on Trincomalee and Kanka Santore ports. Bus services from Hambantota to Colombo on the Southern Expressway will commence today. The 43rd session of the United Nations Human Rights Council begins in Geneva. Five killed in an accident at Omante. And in headlines overseas, the US President makes his first visit to India. With that, we move on to the news in detail. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha says the mega development process of the country will be recommenced. He said that national security will be ensured enabling people to travel freely in the country. The Prime Minister was speaking at the opening of the Southern Expressway stretch from Mathara to Hambantota yesterday. Speaking further on the occasion, the Prime Minister said that a financial and commerce hub will be created centred on the Colombo Harbour and Katunayaka International Airports. Plans have been made to set up an international industrial services and supplies centre based on the Hambantota Harbour and Mathala International Airport. He also said that nine economic corridors will be created, centred on Trincomalee and Kanka Santhore ports. The expressway stretch from Mathura to Hambantota was opened under the patronage of President Gotabe Rajpaksha and Prime Minister Mahindra Rajpaksha. It was vested in the public according to a pledge given in the Mahindra Chintana policy in the past. The government has spent 168.7 billion rupees to build the expressway. The road runs on pillars for 10 kilometers as it goes through an environmental sensitive area. With the opening of this stretch, it will be possible to reach Kataragama from Kottava within three and a half hours. Meanwhile, Sri Lanka Transport Board says that bus services from Hambantota to Colombo will commence from today. The SLTB will deploy 10 luxury buses on the expressway. The bus fare from Hambantota to Colombo is 880 rupees. The 43rd session of the United Nations Human Rights Council is scheduled to begin in Geneva today. Foreign Relations Minister Dinesh Gunawardhan and State Minister Mahinda Samarasinghe will attend the council representing Sri Lanka. The session will continue till the 20th of March. The government decided to repel the U.S.-backed proposal of the previous administration. The cabinet stand was that 31 and 41 proposals were detrimental to the sovereignty of the nation. Foreign Relations Minister Dinesh Kunawardhana will speak at the Council of the Current Status of Human Rights in Sri Lanka on the 26th. The minister is slated to meet High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, on the 27th of February to make further submissions on the matter. The Land Reforms Commission has initiated a project to provide land deeds to persons who do not have legal ownership of lands. 2,500 deeds will be distributed as the first stage at Temple Trees today, under the patronage of President Gotabe Rajpaksha and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksha. Five individuals have been killed in a motor accident at Omante on the Kandy Jaffna Highway. Sri Lanka Transport Board bus from Jaffna had collided with a van from Vaunia in the fatal accident last evening. The accident had caused the bus and the van to erupt in flames. More than 21 people have been injured in the accident. Measures have been taken to hospitalize the injured persons. The bodies of the deceased are at the mortuary of the Vaunia General Hospital. Lalan and Sicily companies have been producing latex surgical gloves in Sri Lanka since 2011. Around 3.5 million gloves are produced per month.
The project is carried out using local natural rubber. All employees of the factory are Sri Lankans. Lalan and Sicily companies have been able to substitute latex surgical gloves hitherto exported from China and Malaysia. The whole procedure is carried out adhering to international standards to ensure high quality products. The gloves will be exported to foreign markets. They will be sterilized at the Pergamagama Center. The gloves previously had to be imported to India for sterilization. We produce a range of gloves covering the industrial sector household, disposable and surgical. We export over 1.3 billion gloves annually to about 50 countries across the world where our surgical gloves and the examination gloves are supplied to the Ministry of Health. Surgical gloves and the disposable gloves that are manufactured are subject to stringent quality checks in the manufacturing process and meets to the highest international standards in terms of quality, giving the end user the assurance of a safe product for use. The company has uh, 70,000 acres of rubber plantations and we have dedicated and passionate workforce of 7,000 workers in our manufacturing facilities and in our plantations. There is a substantial saving to the government of Sri Lanka by way of uh, foreign exchange and import substitution. These products were all uh, imported in the past till our joint when the operation came into being in 2012. The World Health Organization has stressed the importance of assuming individual responsibility in the battle against COVID-19 virus. Sri Lanka representative of the World Health Organization, Dr. Razia Pens, mentioned this in an exclusive interview with the independent television network. She requested the public to refrain from spreading misinformation. I would just like to uh, say one thing that while we look at a lot of uh, measures that government is taking, I think so in order to defeat this virus, each one of us has a role to play. So in terms of you know, personal protection, um, protecting our families, our communities, so simple things like washing your hands, using soap and water, or for using alcohol rub, having respiratory etiquette so that when you're coughing or sneezing, use a tissue paper if you have, or use your elbow. Wash hands immediately after you've coughed or sneezed. And if you're sick, stay at home so that you do not transmit your infection to others. If you have cough, cold, and respiratory problems, seek medical care immediately. If you're going to seek uh, a doctor, please share your travel history because that will help in better management of the case and please do not spread rumors and misinformation because that creates more panic and causes more harm so try and get the right information from the right sources and spread the right information and that's all the news we have for you today i'm umayangi vijaya surya signing off have a pleasant day